Hello everyone, today we are going to represent you top 5 computer hacks of all times. Number 5 Albert Gonzalez, the accused mastermind behind the combined credit card theft of more than 170 million cards and ATM numbers. From 2005 to 2007, his crew used SQL injection. During the spree, Gonzalez rumored to have hosted a $75,000 birthday party for himself and was even said he had to count $340,000. On March 25, 2010, Gonzalez was sentenced to 20 years in federal prison. 4. On March 26, 1999, Microsoft became aware of a microvirus on Microsoft Word dubs Melissa that had affected a number of users and companies worldwide. The virus could affect any people who used Word with Outlook 98 or 2000 only. All other systems are not affected. The virus is delivered via email in attached Word document. Upon opening the attached Word document, the, the microvirus became enabled allowing it to send copies of that message to the first 50 contacts on that user's email account. Third. The United States and Israel initiated one of the most sophisticated cyber attacks of all time in 2010. Known by the name Stuxnet, computer worm which was designed specifically to target Iran's uranium enrichment facilities. The worm disrupted the operations like a smart bomb attacking Simon's industrial controllers. Second. The networks of TG Maxx and parent company Marshalls were hacked and an unknown amount of customers' credit card information was stolen as a result. But analysts estimated that the information of at least 45 million credit and debit cards had been stolen. The major clothing retailer announced that hackers had accessed their network and had stolen information with potentially millions of customers being impacted and at risk. The biggest hacker attack ever was the Conficer worm, the largest computer worm in history, infected tens of millions of Windows PCs in more than 200 countries, with UK government PCs being particularly hit hard in cyber assaults. The worm originally targeted users of social networking sites such as Facebook, Skype, Yahoo Messenger, and multiple email clients Gmail, Outlook, and Hotmail. The infection allows the attacker to access user information such as banking, credit card numbers and private passwords. The worm is still active today. We hope you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, like and share.